Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest will be appearing this Monday at Luna Lounge right here in New York City. Please welcome the very funny Leo Allen. Hello, friends. Uh, let me ask you this. Did you ever have anyone give you advice and uh, right in the middle of them giving you advice, you realize that really they're just giving themselves advice? through you. My father does this. He calls me up all the time and he goes, Leo, Leo, leave your mother. She's killing you. Don't waste another 40 years. Because you can be a dancer. Because you have a dancer's body. So I live right here in New York. Uh, which I like a lot because there's always interesting things to see. Uh, we have a lot of parades, and I like parades. I like parades because I think that parades are people who have nothing to do watching people who have even less to do, <laughs> but are better organized. <laughs> and my friend Frank actually had the nerve to call me up once and go, hey, uh, Leo, will you come check me out? I'm going to be in a parade. That's like calling someone up and going, uh, yeah, um, will you go stand on the curb for like four hours? Because I'm going to walk by. Uh, well, I love my neighborhood. I live in Hell's Kitchen. I love it. I see really cool. I saw a guy walking down 47th Street a little while ago, and he was wearing, I swear to God, those 2,000 glasses, like from the millennium. <laughs> and what was strange about it was he wasn't like a crazy guy. He was a normal guy with a suit, but then the 2,000 glasses. So I thought, I gotta say something, right? So as he passes me, I go, uh, Happy New Year. <laughs> right? He didn't think it was funny. He goes, hey, jerk, I need these to see. <laughs> So I like my neighborhood, but I want to move. I want to move because when you reach a certain age, and I've reached it, and you still have roommates, you failed. Uh, and generally speaking, the more roommates you have, the more you screwed up your life. Uh, for instance, if you have one roommate, hey, you might turn it all around. But if you have seven, Maybe you should smoke less pot. <laughs> and if you have 30, those aren't roommates. You live in a crack house. Um, my Aunt Evie, my Aunt Evelyn, actually had the nerve to call me up on the phone and go, uh, Leo, what do your roommates do for a living? Like, there's going to be a good answer. <laughs> the three 35-year-old genii who live with me. Like, I'm gonna go, oh, what do they do, Evie? Well, let's see. Uh, well, Armando is a thoracic surgeon. And Johnny Spanish, he's an astronaut. Mostly he just drives a space shuttle. And, uh, of course you know Langston Hughes. Right. No, 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 no. We make a lot of money, Evie. We just live together because we lost a bet with a warlock. Right. Right. Don't drink with sorcerers. Right. So, it's interesting. You know, there's three roommates, and, and there's, it's perfect for, like, racist. It's like, you can, there's a reason to hate them all if you're a racist, because one is Jewish, one's a Cuban, one, uh, one's a homosexual. And uh, for a while, I wasn't sure which was which. Uh, but I figured it out, because I love a mystery. Uh, the way I figured it out was, I heard my homosexual roommate having sex, because uh, he says sex a lot, because he belongs to a gym. And, uh, and, and the, the sound is unmistakable of two men making love at four in the afternoon through the pasteboard. It's basically, basically what it sounds like is two guys trying to move a bureau. <laughs> A very, a very large bureau full of wine coolers. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. That's hilarious. Thank you very much. Leo Allen, everybody, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. So we do want to thank all my guests. Very funny. Uh, stay tuned for late Friday. We'll see you Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye. <laughs>